Hello and welcome to another Canadian channel feature. This video is for MBA 101, focusing on financial management. This is video 3 of the financial management section and I highly encourage you to watch the videos in sequence unless you are on this channel to learn about a particular topic. On the last video, we looked at what are assets and owner's equity. In this video, we will look at understanding what liabilities are. Liabilities are obligations of the company. They are amounts owed to the creditors for a past transaction and they usually have the word payable in the account title. Along with owner's equity, liability can be thought of as a source of the company's assets. They can also be thought of as a claim against a company's assets. Liabilities also include amounts received in advance for future services. Since the amount received has not yet been earned, the company defers a reporting of revenues and instead reports on liabilities such as unearned revenues or customer deposits. Understanding this was a little tricky for me. We will come back to what deferred revenue means in a later topic. Examples of liability accounts are salaries payable, interest payable, unearned revenues, customer deposits, etc. Remember, liability accounts will normally have credit balances. A good way of remembering this would be the word itself means you're liable or committed to pay in future. One thing to remember is difference between liabilities versus expenses. A liability is money owed to buy an asset like a loan used to purchase new office equipment. Expenses are ongoing payments for something that has no physical value. An example of an expense would be your monthly business cell phone bill. But if you're locked into a contract and you need to pay a cancellation fee to get out of it, this fee would be listed as liability. Utilities for your stores are expense. The mortgage on your store is a liability. Expenses are also not found on balance sheet, but in an income statement. Both are financial statements. Liabilities in accounting are a company's financial obligations. An example is accounts payable, that is, the money a business owes to its suppliers. Other liabilities include wages payable and loans owing. Liabilities can be found on business's balance sheet, a common financial report generated via your accounting software. Now let's look at what liabilities are in accounting. The definition of liability in financial accounting is a business's financial responsibility. Common liabilities in small businesses. If you borrow instead of paying outright, you have liabilities. Paying with a credit card is considered borrowing too, unless you pay off the balance before the end of the month. And a business loan or getting a mortgage business real estate definitely counts as liabilities. Money owed to employees and sales tax that you collect from clients and need to send to the government are also liabilities common to small businesses. Importance of liabilities to small businesses. Liabilities, including money owing, isn't necessarily bad. Some loans are required to purchase new assets like tools or vehicles that help a small business operate and grow. But too much liability can hurt a small business financially. Owners should track their debt to equity ratio and debt to asset ratios. Simply put, a business should have enough assets, which are items of financial values, to pay off their debts. On another video, we will look at calculating these ratios. Now let's look at types of liabilities. There are two main types of liabilities, long-term liabilities and short-term liabilities. Both types are listed on company's balance sheet, a financial report that shows a business's financial health at the end of a reporting period. Long-term liabilities. Long-term liabilities are financial responsibilities that will be paid back over more than a year, such as mortgages and business loans. Short-term liabilities. Short-term liabilities are financial responsibilities that will be paid back within a year. Understanding liabilities was the most confusing part to me, especially when I started to solve some examples. On the next video, we will look at some real-life examples. In this way, you'll have a better understanding of the accounting principle. I highly recommend bookmarking video 2 and video 3 as we'll be using the concepts often. I've also made a separate folder under my YouTube channel titled Financial Management. 
I really hope you enjoyed this video. We will perform some examples on next videos. I will also be posting notes on my website where you can easily download it for your class or reference. Your comments and feedbacks are always cherished and welcome. Look forward to seeing you in another topic. This is Can Indian Channel signing off. Peace.